Welcome back. Today's video is going to be one of my Dollar Tree DIYs. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful Halloween witch's broom using Dollar Tree items. This is so easy to do. You guys are just going to love it. Make sure if you love Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree DIYs hauls that you subscribe if you haven't yet and give today's video a thumbs up. So for today's Dollar Tree DIY, you're going to need one wooden spoon. You're going to also need some of this spider web tool. It doesn't have to be the spider web. It can be any tool you want. You are also going to need two different colors of thin ribbon. Again, this can be any color choice or look that you desire. You're going to need a glue gun. You're also going to need a tape measure. You're going to need one zip tie. You're going to need a pair of scissors and you are also going to need some black craft paint and a paintbrush. Most of these things you will likely have on hand already. I just wanted to let you guys know the tool that I'm working with here for this witch's broom is six inches wide and I'm going to be cutting my tool into 10 inch pieces. I'm going to cut six 10 inch pieces. Next, I just wanna create a pattern going down the wooden handle of the wooden spoon. This is where I'm gonna be using the ribbon. So I simply take some hot glue, go around with that glitter ribbon that I'm using and I'm just gonna alternate between the black glitter ribbon and the purple glitter ribbon. And you're just going to do this the whole way down the wooden spoon handle. Be careful always, I remind people when you're using a hot glue gun, glue gun burns hurt. Trust me, I know I've had a couple in my time of crafting. Now I'm just gonna take a teeny tiny little dab of that black paint and paint the base, like the spoon part of the wooden spoon. This is just gonna basically camouflage it underneath all of that tool. So now you want the sparkly webbing to be on the outside of your broomstick when you flip it over. So you're going to take the six pieces and just kind of gather them around the wooden spoon handle. And you're gonna make Make sure that the spider webbing, like the sparkly part, is going down with the handle so that when you zip tie that, like I just did here, and flip it around, you're going to see the glittery, sparkly spider webbing on the outside of your broomstick. And just go ahead and adjust your tool until you get it how you like the looks of it. Then you're going to want to take a piece of your thin ribbon. I decided to go with purple because I thought that it just showed up better and popped against that tool. And it's just going to tie a bow and that's what's going to create the end of the broom with the bristles. I did go ahead and just hot glue that ribbon into place so that it doesn't fall off or come apart. And just go ahead and adjust everything and work it until you're happy with the look of everything. Now I was finding that the tool was just a little bit too long so I went ahead and trimmed a couple inches off and it just finished it perfectly. I absolutely love this. I just can't believe how easy it was to do and how good it looks in the end. And this only cost a couple dollars. It looks so nice just set out in a bout somewhere, but I actually needed it for a Halloween wreath, which I will have up on my channel if not by the time that I publish this video very soon. So watch out for that. Otherwise it will be linked down below in the description for anyone who wants to check it out. This was such a fun Halloween DIY. I love Dollar Tree for allowing me to be able to create things on such a budget. This would be super fun to do if you have little kids to do with your kiddos. They would love this one. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure and hit thumbs up for me. If you're not yet subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe and join me here for lots more. Thank you so much for hanging out with me here today. Thanks for all of your continued love and support, your kind, encouraging comments. Have a wonderful rest of your day today, guys, and I will see you back here in my next video.